Hey guys, what's good? I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is about comparing scans between the Silverfast and Epson scan software. If you guys are new here, stumble upon my video and looking for scanning methods, you might want to give Silverfast a try. So yesterday my friend Leo recommended me to try it and I tried it last night and I was completely blown away with the results from my negatives and I was like you know what I'm gonna ditch Epson scan software and move forward with Silverfast and to just give you guys a little insight about my photos that I've been sharing on this channel I've been scanning all my photos with the Epson scan software and usually I don't do a lot of editing and they're just pretty much all straight from the glass and if I need to do any editing like if the colors are too much if the colors come out like too green or magenta or any type of color I go ahead and correct that on Lightroom and if there's too much dust I go ahead and do that on Photoshop and if if I work with a model doing portrait photography if there's some type of blemishes or if the hair is kind of like sticking out I go ahead and clean that up on Photoshop as well but other than that a lot of the scans have been um, just straight up scans from the Epson scanner and I didn't even use any a &R glass for them and recently I just actually picked up a &R glass and made a video about it two weeks ago, I think, or last week. And I uh, really like the results from that. It shows a lot of contrast and pretty much my photos are sharper than using it without. So with that, um, but yeah, um, let's, uh, let's dive in into Silverfast. I'm gonna just show you guys uh, what you can do with it and probably it will help you out with your preferred scanning methods. So let's check out Silverfast real quick. I'm not going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between this and the Epson scan software. So I'm just going to show you a little walkthrough on how I prep my photo before I scan it with this software. So starting in the preview panel right here in the middle where the photo is, I'm going to go ahead and pick out the, I'm going to include the film borders by choosing my frame here. And on the left, I'll go ahead and choose JPEG. You can also choose TIFF, PSD, Photoshop, or PDF. You can set your photo quality to 300 PPI, which is already high for uh, print. And on average, this file size will be 237. Um, but from what I'm getting, I usually average between 40 to 60 megabytes or even more or even less than 40. Um, but that's that's the predicted, I guess, what the file size will be. But I never get anything close to that high, to that high number. Second thing here is to set up your Negafix preset. So that's what I'm going to call it. It's it's pretty much a preset. So basically what you do here is choose your vendor. I'm using Kodak Portrait 400. So I'll go ahead and select that. And I'll choose 400 NC, which stands for natural color. And once I'm picking done picking with that, and I preview on the right side, you can see that there's a big difference between, not a big difference, but you can see a slight change from the original scan without it. That, and then this. Oh well, I can't redo that. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and correct that here. And then moving down in the panel here, there is a color correction tool that you can use. But I'm happy with this. I don't think I need to make any adjustments. I like the natural look that's going on here. And the other tools that have that are on at default are these tools here. I did not touch them, so there is some unsharp masking uh, configured here at default. And there's also a dust and scratch removal um, turned on here, and also grain and noise elimination. And then once I'm done, I can go ahead and scan this photo. Mm -hmm. 
There is one thing I forgot to mention is that you can get silver fast for free if you own the V600 Epson scanner or the V550 or the GTX 830. Once you're on this website, you can go ahead and pick your scanner model and type in your serial number which is located in the back of your scanner and get it checked and what they'll do is ask you for your email, your name and they'll send you a free copy. I'll drop the link below in the description box so if you have the scanner you have a free copy of Silverfast. To wrap up this video I hope you guys find this helpful for me Silverfast is a game changer even though I've used it for less than 24 hours I think it will make me more happier than I was before with the results but even before that having to use Epson scan software for almost a year already I was happy with the work that I was producing with that and I've published a lot of videos on my on my Epson scans and also published photos on my Instagram with the Epson scans and I think it really just comes down to personal preference if you're happy with the results keep it that way it's your work it's your art your piece don't get really caught up with what people are telling you what to do if you're doing it wrong or you should do this and that just know that it's your work if you're happy with it stick with it um, but also keep an open mind just try out something different and maybe you'll have a change of mind to move on with something else but for me silver fast is the next thing for me so i'll be leaving the epson scan software behind well anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video follow me on instagram subscribe to this channel be sure to like this video if it helped out leave a comment below i'd love to hear what you guys think and yeah um i'll be pushing out more videos i wanted to let you guys know I also quit my job during a pandemic so that's another video for another time but yeah hope you guys find this video helpful all right guys thanks for watching bye